Well, that's uh, the situation with the pro and anti-government protests here in Russia. And this is how uh, one American news channel portrayed what's happening. America has its fair share of protests and political dissent to be dealing with. Instead of keeping an eye on the ball, the country's mass media machine has turned to protests in Russia and dropped the ball on reporting the facts. Thousands of protesters have gathered in Moscow, lashing out against Prime Minister Vladimir Putin and his ruling United Russia Party. The only problem is that this video is not from Russia. Fox News Channel aired video of fires and chaos in Athens, convincing viewers that this mayhem is playing out in Moscow. The fair and balanced network paid no mind to the Greek lettering in the background. In case you're wondering, it says Greek National Bank. What matters is that this is what Moscow protests have looked like. It's not surprising whatsoever that at the moment that there would be any kind of protest, no matter how small it be in Russia, against the Russian government, that it would be greatly exaggerated in media and used by the U.S. government as well as a way to try to somehow push for a change in Russia that would be more favorable to U.S. interests. Journalist and author Eva Golinger believes mass media is Washington's most valuable weapon in encouraging revolt elsewhere under the mantle of spreading democracy, such as the so-called Orange Revolution in Ukraine or Rose Revolution in Georgia. A perception is created that something is happening in that country that's not right and, and that the government is somehow responsible. And so therefore, if that government ends up being removed, it somehow is justified that, that you know, the media has played a key role in creating a justification for regime change. Similar anti-government demonstrators have been reported in at least 50 other cities in Russia. U.S. leaders have leveled harsh criticism against Russia in the aftermath of Sunday's parliamentary election. And Critics say its free press has worked to reinforce the narrative. The media tends to march in lockstep with the government. It tends to take its cues from the government. It tends to, you know, mobilize its resources to showcase what the government says is true, even when later it turns out not to be true. As was the case in this erroneous CNN report. Well, in eastern Russia, more than 3,000 people protested against proposed changes to the country's time zones. The video shown by CNN is not of protesters, but rather of soccer fans riding in Moscow over the killing of a fellow supporter. The problem is that we showed the wrong pictures. Only after the error was repeatedly noticed, CNN owned up to its mistake. We do apologize for the error and are grateful to the many Russian viewers who have pointed it out to us. The sloppiness of it all is reflecting, you know, the, the lack of awareness of the journalists themselves. Many of them are completely uninformed about the world. They have opinions that have no factual basis to them, but it doesn't stop them because it's what looks good that matters more than what really is true. The truth is that America has its own social, economic, and political challenges to be dealing with. And while Washington works on getting its own house in order, powerful mass media outlets can work on getting their facts straight. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.